Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. I'm about to propose a simple way to stop the coronavirus in its tracks. But first, let's start with terminology. The virus we are up against is most often called simply the coronavirus. The illness the coronavirus causes is called COVID-19. COVID stands for coronavirus disease. As of tonight, Friday, March 27th, 2020, America now has more cases of COVID-19 than any other nation in the world, including Italy and China. Experts predict that if COVID-19 goes unopposed in the United States, the coronavirus will kill between 1.5 million and 2.2 million Americans. I've worked out the figures based on the numbers from China's Hubei province, where the first case appeared in November, and those estimates are correct. Losing between 1.5 million and 2.2 million Americans to a single disease would be like losing the entire city of Houston or Chicago. Imagine the entire city of Houston as empty, silent buildings in which nearly every room has a corpse. That's totally unacceptable. As of tonight, there are well over half a million confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide. There are over 27,000 deaths, and COVID-19 is gaining speed. Just in the last two days, the number of cases jumped by roughly 100,000. But there's another uncontestable fact. The stock market in March of 2020 was tanked by the self-isolation we've imposed to slow the COVID-19 pandemic. The Dow Jones Industrial Average has dropped from almost 30,000 points to close to 18,000 points, shedding roughly $10 trillion in value and making stock market history. Specifically, it was the biggest point drop in the American stock market ever. Then President Donald Trump declared that the economic consequences of America's self-isolation would kill more people in COVID-19 and told the world he wanted America to reopen for business by Easter. At the same time, a $2 trillion COVID-19 relief package steamed toward completion in Congress. Suddenly, the stock market went up roughly 4,000 points, once again making history. However, Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute for Allergies and Infectious Disease, cautioned that we might be in for a far longer haul than Easter. If we go by the experience of the coronavirus in China, we could be shut down for another three months. Who is right, Dr. Anthony Fauci or President Donald Trump? According to pro-Trump conservatives, between 2,000 and 6,000 people die of lightning strikes every year, 6,000 people a year die of slips in the bathtub, and the ordinary flu kills as many as 650,000 people per year worldwide, and 1.35 million people die every year worldwide in auto accidents. A worldwide total of 27,000 deaths so far from COVID-19 is a fleas sneeze by comparison. The conservatives ask if we should stop the economy until we can do away with lightning strikes, the flu, and auto accidents. No. So why are we stopping our economy dead in its tracks now? The conservative view is that it's all a Democratic Party hoax, a deep state plot. According to the right-wing American Thinker magazine, Dr. Anthony Fauci is a stooge for Hillary Clinton. And according to a plethora of right-wing sources, the mainstream media's headlines are part of a conspiracy designed to weaken Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election. On the other hand, opposing the conservative outlook is the medical point of view. COVID-19 is the most dangerous global pandemic since the Spanish influenza of 1918, an influenza that killed between 17 million and 50 million people. The Spanish influenza of 1918 killed more people than were killed in all of World War I. Then there's another problem. The coronavirus is one of the most contagious infections we have ever seen. Coming down with the coronavirus is so easy that some of the most protected people in the world are infected, including Rand Paul, Tom Hanks, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and Prince Charles. But the most important argument from the med medical view is this. Countries like China, Singapore, and South Korea have stopped COVID-19's exponential growth. How have they done it? Test, trace, and isolate. Let me repeat that. The magic formula to stop COVID-19 is test, trace, and isolate. When I say test, I mean test everyone, every man, woman, and child. 
then trace all the people a person infected with the COVID-19 has interacted with. For example, an experiment was run in the Italian city of Vaux, the very first Italian city to have a case of the coronavirus. Every citizen in Vaux was tested. That's 3,300 citizens. 66 of those citizens were discovered to have the coronavirus. A substantial percentage of them felt strong and healthy, which means they were going out and about and spreading their infection. The 66 infected people were forced into isolation, and new infections stopped completely. So America has two options. Reopen for business on Easter Sunday, an experience between 1.5 million and 2.2 million deaths, or stay shut down like the Italian city of Vaux, test, test everybody, trace their social contacts, isolate those who have the infection, then consider opening for business and save roughly 2 million lives. Meanwhile, keep this in mind. In California, a person under the age of 20 died in late March of the COVID. And in New York City, the first hospital worker to die of the coronavirus was a man roughly 40 years old, vigorous and handsome. Test, trace, and isolate, and one of the lives you save could easily be yours. This is Howard Bloom speaking to you from the future. It is your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> want to know why? Ask how. And now for that silly, stupid, seditious, slimy, sneaky little off button. I think I've found it.